Come on. The strong, the powerful Harry Stout has returned to Money Savage. Welcome back, Harry. George, great to be with you today. Jax, I didn't have you back. Here's the author of The Financial Verse, Finance and Insurance Books. He's a financial services industry thought leader. He is an insurance, wealth management, and retirement planning expert. And it's always great to have you on the show, Harry. Tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work, and why you're doing what you're doing. George, I live in Vero Beach, Florida, where I'm coping with uh, the pandemic and being inside for seven months. Mm. Uh, My work is focused on helping people learn more about money to improve their lives. I'm solely focused on personal financial education, which I believe is very important today. And for me, I'm in the fulfilling stage of my career. And what I'm trying to do is give back, to share the financial knowledge I've learned in my over 30-year financial services career to help people. Okay. Well, amen to that. So we are experiencing whatever this thing is, this pandemic, obviously, and um, I think it's, it's having different effects on, on everybody. What's, what's really top of mind for you? For me, George, is the focus on helping people plan their financial lives so that they can really pay for their spending needs as they age and stop working. The ability to pay your bills and all those bills that, that are coming is, is, is really critical. And uh, because of the pandemic, how you do that's changed in my view. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose people probably need to be thinking a little bit differently about money. Well, when you, when you look at it, I think money priorities have changed. First off, I, th- I think the number one phrase that comes to mind is cash is king. Mm-hmm. So people really are looking on, how do I keep my cash? How do I earn cash? How do I save money? And as a result of that, they're being careful about how they spend. And for me, George, as I look at the pandemic, I think the pandemic is our Great Depression. And uh, and what it does for all of us, it makes us think differently. And I, as a result of that, I believe money is being looked at as a very or a more precious resource. And this is driving people to think differently about how they position their financial lives. I mean, an example would be many, many people that I talk to, it's not about how do I accumulate money, it's where do I get income? And how do I get an income that can pay my bills? Yeah. Here, I thought that the Great Recession was our depression, Harry, but you're, you're, <laughs> I, I, had, I hadn't really thought about it, but, but, but you're probably right. Um, yeah, cash is king, and start to go back to, and I think that everybody's always probably wanted uh, some kind of a guaranteed income, but now more than ever. So, so easier said than done. How, how does one go about that? Well, I think one of the misunderstood And probably one of the products that has a lot of controversy and and, and all sorts of unusual information published about it are the annuity products. Mm. And I think annuities, when you look at them, George, they're not understood very well. There's, again, a lot of misinformation out there. But when you cut through it, annuities are one of the very few sources of guaranteed or protected income that you can buy today. So... Well, I just fundamentally, let's take a, a, a big or maybe a really broad strokes. What really are annuities? They are certainly a misunderstood financial product, very dynamic. If you Google it, you'll get half great, half half terrible. So let's just talk about what they are. Yeah, and I think that's that's a great question. George, you get to the basics. They are insurance products. And I think that's a, you really need to remember that. They are insurance products. They've been around since Roman times. So if you look at the history of annuities, they've been around since uh, ancient Rome. Hmm. And uh, they're, so this, they, they, they're out there. They've been there for a significant period of time. Two basic phases to an annuity, accumulation and payout. And you'll see, how, you know, as we talk today, how that colors all the different products that are available. In our economy right now, George, believe it or not, we sell about a quarter of a trillion dollars of annuities a year, as the annuity industry does. A quarter of a trillion. And I know that sounds like a lot. Yeah. But but really, when you look at all the available uses for the product and how it could help people, probably not as much as it should be. And again, they're an insurance product. They're sold by highly regulated life insurance companies. So once you start offering a guarantee to consumers – the company offering that has to provide capital 
has to provide reserves, and they're monitored very carefully by the states for how they do that. Appreciate that. A quarter of a trillion. You know, in today's world, I, I, you know, it sounds like a lot. Does it sound like a lot? I remember back in the, the financial collapse, like like a billion dollars really got watered down. But a quarter of a trillion is is an enormous amount. So so people are buying these like crazy, um, which for the reasons you just described cer- certainly makes sense. Um, talk about that 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 guaranteed. But what what are what are some of the other core benefits? Yeah, I think, when, again, when you look at those, in, when you look at annuity products, George, and we can't cover everything today right. in this session, but I think we highlight for people. When you look at it, number one, tax deferral. And I think going forward, um, you, you and I can debate whether our taxes are going to go up or down. My gut is they're going to go up because our country is going to have to pay for all the costs relating to this pandemic. And um, so I think you're going to see taxes going up. So these products have tax deferral. Many of them have principal protection. They also can be swapped. You can swap one annuity for another on a tax-free basis. If you're planning your estate, they have probate avoidance. The products also have, you can get access to your cash. They're not checking accounts, but they they have the ability for, for people to get access to their cash. And again, the key theme here is they're an offset to what I call longevity risk. Now, George, you're a healthy young man. You're probably going to hit the genetic jackpot and you're going to live a very long life. And the question, and that's great news. On the other hand is how are you going to fund that? Because if you're going to live to be 90, you're going to live to be 95. That's a lot of years that most likely you will not be working that you need to fund. So how do you pay for or fund that longevity risk? And that's what annuities do. They provide that supplemental income to help you do that. The the last thing in terms of these benefits that these products have, George, is in the last 10 years, the industry has come up with a variety of new benefits that are part of annuity contracts. And actually, it goes back a little longer than 10 years. But you can get access to your cash if you're confined to a nursing home, if you have a long-term care event, a terminal illness. Now, some of these benefits have a cost that the consumers have to pay for, but others come as part of the contracts. So when you look at it, there's a real good core group of benefits that annuity products have yeah i appreciate that and i also know that there's there's lots of different kinds so if you could give me an overview on that the way i look at it george there's about six different types of annuity products out there and when you look at the different types of products two key factors how is how does the contract earn interest and how much is your principal protected for example, uh, one of the, uh, the the great sellers is a fixed annuity where the rate of return on that contract is fixed each year. Your principal is fully protected. So that's a fixed return. On the other end of the spectrum, we have something called a variable annuity, where a variable annuity is just that. Your return is based on the return associated with investments that are made, mutual funds that you invest in. And uh, so it's a return and you can lose money with a variable annuity. Your principal is not protected. In the last several years, we have a new product called a buffered or structured annuity, which is kind of a a nice hybrid between a variable and a fixed. One of the great, uh, most successful products on the market today is called a fixed indexed annuity, where the rate of return, the interest you earn each year, is tied to the change of an external index, such as the S&P 500. And then we have a couple of different types of income annuities. I mean, historically, when people thought of annuities, they thought about a situation where they gave the insurance company, say, $50,000, and the next month they started getting a check for some period of time. Well, income annuities are positive, and we have uh, we have Im- uh, income annuity contracts where payments begin today, and we have some where they can begin in 30 years, where you're buying some longevity risk. So basically, six different flavors of annuities, each with its own characteristics as to how interest is earned, how principal is protected. But the nice thing is there's been a lot of innovation in the last, again, the last 10 years to create different consumer choices. Yeah. Yeah, there's always going to be innovation and new products that are coming out. And I know that we're going to talk a little bit about, um, obviously, the, the pros and the cons. But is, is, is there one thing you'd say, okay, well, this is why somebody buys an annuity? Well, fundamentally, you're buying an annuity to be a source of supplemental retirement income 
guaranteed protected income. And and the reason you're doing that or the consumer's doing that is, again, they've got to protect against this longevity risk. Mm. And you got to have cash, George, to be able to fund your living expenses, your health care needs. And you, we could have a whole different program on health care needs right. and your other and your other cost needs. Uh, and then lastly, and, and many people do buy annuities today as an accumulation tool because some of the products do work very effectively, even in this low rate environment. People, I, I think they that we when 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 hear this idea of a longevity risk, it kind of seems funny that it's a negative thing that 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 we live long lives. But if we live longer than we expect, we're going to run out of money, and that's I don't know if it's worse or better than than dying before you're supposed to, but certainly living longer and 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 all these things is is very negative. So, new an annuity does protect against that 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 major risk. So. So let's do the old Ben Franklin and uh, talk about pros and cons. So let's start with the good stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of positives with these products. I mean, first off, they can produce higher returns than a lot of other fixed income options that are out there. So that that's good. Again, you get that option for guaranteed lifetime income. And the products come with a variety of different payout options, George. You know, how you may want to get your money paid out is different the way I would want it. So the contracts have a lot of options to them. Again, tax deferral accumulation, and that's really important. And what that means to the consumer in buying the product is any current income on the annuity contract, you don't pay taxes on it today. You only pay tax on it when you withdraw from the contract. That's a big savings. And again, you and I can debate whether taxes are going up or down over the next number of years, but my gut is they're going up higher. Uh, the fixed versions of the, the fixed annuities that are out there, what they do is they, they give you a guaranteed predictable return. So if you might want that, you might want that comfort. At the same time, fixed products offer you principal protection and your, your principal's never at risk. And again, if you have a very volatile stock market, you may want that principal protection. For all the annuity products that are in the marketplace, a great positive is 100% of the money you put in the contract goes to work right away. So it's not it's not deferred. It starts the day you put the money into the contract. And then lastly, a great positive is all these new contract riders, what they call contract riders, that are, these new benefits that have been created. They have been designed to make the contracts much more valuable to the consumer. Now, while we have positives, we also have negatives, and it's important. The other it's side really of the coin. Yeah, and I think it's important for, if you're buying an annuity and, and a consumer needs to understand the positives and the negatives. Mm -hmm. And again, the negatives, some of these contracts or these, these annuities come with fees and charges. Consumer must understand the fees and charges they're going, looking to pay. Really important. You do have restricted access to your cash. Annuities are not checking accounts, George. They're, they're designed for, again, supplemental retirement income. They're designed to provide that protected income later in life. And to do that, uh, the way in which the contracts are designed, the way in which they have to be uh, manufactured, if you will, by the life insurance companies is they can't give you 100% access to your cash. There are good reasons for that. A major objection or a major negative you see with annuity contracts is you don't get capital gains tax rates. So if there's any uh, there's any gain on a contract that you have from an annuity contract, it's taxed as ordinary income. And Congress did that because they gave you the tax deferral benefit and they're saying, look, we're not going to give you a tax deferral on capital gain also. So basically, that's a, that's a key negative. Mm -hmm. Also, getting access to your money prior to age 59 and a half triggers some tax penalties. There are some exceptions, but basically you do get tax penalties. A lot of folks don't like that. And if you're putting in money from an IRA, if you're using an annuity, an annuity can be used as an IRA, by the way. But you're not going to get any sort of double up in terms of tax benefit. Because remember, with an IRA, you don't pay taxes currently. With an annuity, you don't pay taxes currently. It, it, there's no real benefit to the annuity contract. Now, people use annuities as part of their IRA because there are benefits that the annuity may have that the IRA doesn't. And uh, just that, that's what you see in the marketplace. And I think overall, George, and I see i see your head spinning today in our, in our conversation, uh, <laughs> There is complexity here, and uh, and it's and again these contracts are complex, and so when I look at positives and negatives, what I conclude when you look at it, George, is annuities are a tool, and they have some great benefits that you can use in designing your financial future. There are some negatives. So working with a financial professional, you need to assess whether or not the, the positives outweigh the negatives. 
for you. So I, I appreciate that. And yes, and just have a good understanding of, of the costs and, 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 and the different fees and the benefits, then, then you're able to make a good decision. Um, I guess maybe the, there's so many important questions to ask, but how much income to really plan for? Well, it's a great question, and it's an individual question, George. Mm. You really need to sit down. I call it America's Income Challenge because uh, as, you, as you get older, you need to sit down and look at your expenses. Then you need to take a look at what income you've got coming in. And we read today that so many folks, the only income they've got coming in in the future is their Social Security, for instance. Right. So you compare A to B, and um, uh, you end up with a, typically a gap, a gap that's there. So uh, – this is long-winded, but I think when you look at how much income you need to have, that income replacement question is an individual question. And an example would be if someone is uh, someone has a lower amount of income, they may need 100% of their pre-retirement income in retirement because they need all that to cover their expenses. Whereas an affluent individual may only need 50% of their income uh, to re to fund their expenses as they retire. So overall, the idea of how much income do you need is an individual, I think it's an individual answer, and one that you should reach, you know, or a conclusion you should reach working with a qualified financial professional. Yeah. It's that awesome financial person qu or uh, answer that 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 it kind of depends, but <laughs> it, 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 and George, it, it does depend, and I think it's it's an area where people need to spend some time. Mm -hmm. You know, having a financial coach getting advice is not a sign of weakness. If anything, it's a sign of strength, and more people need to do it. Yeah, amen, amen. You got to do the work and figure this out. So, I think it goes without saying, but um, these are. Um, the, 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 the safety of these companies, what is that tied to? Or the safety of rather the product? Well, when you look at it, when you buy an annuity, you're, you're really buying that, the guarantees in that product. All of the benefits are the responsibility of the life insurance company that's issuing the contract. So you really need to make sure you understand the financial strength of the company that you're buying from. So that's primary. Secondarily, there are individual state government guarantee funds that are there just in case the life insurer goes insolvent and, it, and is unable to pay their benefits. This has been a very rare occurrence in, in the last 30 years or more, George, that I've been in the business. But so primarily, it's the financial strength of the life insurance company, and you've got the backup of the state guarantee funds. And the consumer should know both and what they're both about before buying yeah so how does one buy one well it's the you know it's like the the places you'll look it's like a dr seuss uh, <laughs> a dr seuss response <laughs> today you can buy annuities from licensed financial professionals you can buy them from uh, life insurance agents registered reps registered investment advisors banks a number of different places sell the products because they they are again a tool that can be used so you can find them a number of different places when you look at it the purchase uh, process is very easy George it, there's no underwriting for these products it's not like buying life insurance uh, you, it's a sum of money in exchange for the benefits that are there there are compliance requirements there are state mandated questions that have to be answered and a process that has to be gone through but it's 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 very streamlined and really easy to do yeah i oh, appreciate that so put a bow on it harry how how <laughs> how, how how do you summarize it today well the way i look at it is this george in annuities are an insurance product they're a tool that people can use to create protected lifetime income again my caveat is they're not for everyone but my belief is they're worth investigating to see if they can be a building block as you build your financial future. I love it. Well, Harry, Savage Nation is ready for that difference-making tip. What do you have for them? My tip is this. Work with a financial professional to look into annuity products as you plan your financial future. They're a tool you might be able to use. Well, I think that is great stuff. That definitely gets it. Come on. I think that that's, I mean, everything we just talked about, it's, I, I've been at this for, for almost 20 years, and I know that, that you've certainly been at it for, for a good little while as well. 
and it is a lot. It is a lot for, for, for us to get our heads around, and then you throw on top of that ever-changing products and innovation, which, which I, I think are good. But having and talking with a financial professional to help you look at the pros and the cons and how it fits into your overall financial situation and then your retirement income picture, I think is really well said by you. So I appreciate that. Thanks, George. Well, Harry, thank you for coming back on. Uh, where can Savage Nation learn more about you? And where can they get a copy of um, of this book? And rather, I, I, I think that you are doing like a book a quarter at this point. <laughs> If the pandemic continues, it, it, it may speed up, George. But yes, I have a new book coming out on, on today's annuity products. It'll be out in November. And it's designed to help educate the consumer so that they can do just as we've discussed, to have a, a good conversation with a financial advisor to see if the products fit. So that book should be out in November, pandemic willing. Mm-hmm. So give us the, the, the best place to pick it up. Yep. What you can do is just go to my website at financialverse.com. That's financialverse.com. All information about my books, my blog, and the other things that I do, you can find there. Love it. Well, Savage Nation, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, show Harry your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas, go to financialverse.com. That's F-I-N-A-N-C-I-A-L-V-E-R-S-E.com. Thanks again, Harry. Oh, George, you're quite welcome. And until next time, keep fighting the good fight. We are all in this together.